Yola, welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Quest XI Blind. Uh, yeah, after I botched the intro last time, I was like, God dang it, now I'm going to be like self-conscious to make sure to not do it again. Oh yeah, ready for uh, episode two of the Yola intro. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually did that for real? I know I said it like a joke about doing the next 5,000 episodes with that intro. Wouldn't it be funny if I like actually did it? And then 10 years from now, people are going to be like, why the hell did he do that? When did he do that? Like, why does he do that? Like, why? So stupid. Why would he do that for so long? Like, when he first said he was going to do it, I thought he was just like, he, like, he said it like a joke. I thought he was joking. He actually freaking did it. What the hell? I'm probably not going to, though. It would be funny, though. Mine's the Vanguard. Uh, Equipment bag. Okay, so it's equipment of some kind. Oh, man, what would it even be? What is a Vanguard? Is it a sword? It is not a sword for Thomas. Is it a sword for Senor Silvando? Uh, I don't know what a vanguard is. Is that a real like thing? Like, is it is it the name of a piece of clothing or accessory? Oh, it's this. Uh, oh, it's a card. Okay, uh... So, like, preemptive attack? Or does it mean agility? Like, when it says striking first in battle, does that mean it makes your agility go up? Which means you'll attack faster. Is that what that means? Yeah, I don't know. How much did it go up by? Actually, who has, like, bad... Uh... Accessories? Probably fishnet stockings are probably the worst accessory that anybody has, if I had to guess. Man, I want my defense to go down. Man, screw that. Alright, anyway. I'm not exactly sure how far I got. But I'm pretty sure... Like, I went like I was, I went beyond the bridge, like, a little bit. But I don't think I went this far. Um, oh, wait. Did I go up the... There's, like, a thingy right here. I don't think I went this way. I was like, what are those? Okay. They're, like, dudes just, like, standing there waiting. Lying in wait or whatever. Or like standing in wait. It's like lying in wait, but like the standing version of that. Oh, you go this way. All right. Okay, what's in store? Oh, a treasure. Probably a mini metal or something. Uh, enchanted stone. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm guessing that's good considering how, like, how far like down this path we had to go. We had to shimmy across two thingies and go across a bridge. There's like nothing else in this direction. Uh, oops. Oh my god, yeah boy, by the way, how's it going? <sighs> yeah, freaking. Oh, before I forget, uh, I saw that I got the third shift bid. Which is kind of funny because whenever I would tell people, they'd always go, they'd always be like, oh, congratulations. And I know they're just being supportive, and I appreciate that they're being supportive, but on the other hand, I'm sitting here going like, yeah, well, I know it's just going to be a case of out of the frying pan into the fryer, you know? Because, like, I don't know what I'm going to get put on, but I guarantee it's going to be a pain in the ass. Like, it's not... I mean, I've said this before, but, like, the place I work at, the good workers always get put on the harder jobs. So I don't even know what job, like, what station I'm going to be doing. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I know it's going to be hard as shit. But it's like, well, at least it's something different. So... So, yeah, so I got that taken care of, which is nice, but... Oops. Hold on. I effed up my headphones. Actually, I'm sad. I use, um... I use, like, super El Cheapo headphones. Uh, just because I like, uh... I like being able to hear the game and also my voice. Like, like, quote-unquote good headphones. They have, like, sound... They're, like, soundproof or whatever. But it's like, well, I like to be able to, like, hear myself, like, talk. As if I were not wearing headphones, you know? But then when you wear, uh headphones that have like noise cancellation or whatever 
then it sounds like you have like earplugs in or whatever. Like you can't like hear your own voice like as well. Like I don't know, it's just like weird. I just prefer to have it be uh, like when you use like the cheapo ones, you can hear yourself the way you hear yourself when you're not wearing headphones, you know? It just seems like more like natural since that's how I, that's how I hear myself when I talk in real life, you know? But uh, I went to adjust one of the ears. I don't think I was even taking it off. I was just adjusting it. And it just went, it just went crack in my hand. And the, the piece that like, that like clicks in and like up and down or whatever. For you to like adjust the height of the ear thing. Like the plastic like snapped. I can still adjust it like up or down. It is kind of setting on my ear like funny. And then it was kind of funny then when I, uh... I wasn't going to mention it. Do you, you really think I was going to talk to you? No, I'm trying to pick up the thing, clearly. Uh, okay, so we don't have, like, super good, like, visibility. We're going to have this, like, this, like, dark, foggy area. So I got to keep an eye out for treasures. So I, uh, so I took, so I took the headphones off, and I was like expect, inspecting the uh, the broken piece. And there's all these like grooves or like ridges or whatever, because like it makes like a sound as you cl like move it up or down or whatever. There's like a piece of plastic that like slides into these like all these like little grooves, but it doesn't like it holds in like well enough, but you can also like move it up and down with your hand, you know. And it makes this like uh, this like sound or whatever. And I was looking at it, and it was it's so disgusting. I've been using these headphones for so long that um, that the like the space in between the grooves was completely filled with like dead skin off like the side of my head. It was just like filled with like uh, with like head I don't know like head cheese or something. I, like I don't know what it, I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, do not enter without good reason. Did I even explore everywhere on the outside? There's a campfire and, like, a whole bunch of other places to go. I don't know. I'm already committed to going this way. Let's just go this way. Did I check? Like, can I get, like, up? There's, like, stuff up there. I don't think I can get up there, though. This is, like, a vine or something that I can climb. Uh, does not look like it. Alright. So I don't even know what it is. It's just like, it's just like junk off the side of my head that like has been accumulating over the course of years. Just dead skin cells. That eventually like coalesce to the point where it turns into like some sort of like, some sort of, uh, like, like, I don't know, like, what is it? It's almost like it's almost like this like fluffy like wad of like dead like dead skin or something. I don't know. Und was ist das? Well, I kind of wish I knew what those did, so I knew if I should be like excited to get those or not. If I don't know what the hell it's for, I'm like I got a thing. Yay, maybe I don't know. Did I care? I mean, platinum sounds good. Oh, but oh my gosh, yeah, I... Yeah, today was... Today was one of those days. I don't know, I don't get into, like, bad moods, like, very often. Like, like I get, like, I get, like, frustrated. Like, I have, like, moments of frustration where my frustration will just, like, spike for a moment, you know? And then, like... Five seconds later, I'm fine, you know. But I don't know. Today, I was like in, I was like in a like a legit like pissy mood. It's just like I got like, I got like other stuff going on. That, that I can't talk about right now. Not because I don't like want to, but because like it's so it's it's such a long story. That for one, it would like I would have to stop playing and you just have to watch You just have to like watch this screen while I complain for like 40 minutes. And I'll spare you from that. And also Also I like I'll I'll talk about it later. I can't talk about it right now. 
but uh, I'll talk about it when my roommate moves out. <laughs> So, yeah, I have that. I have a situation there going on. And, I, like I said, I did have the... And I did get the bid to third shift. So, that's at least in the works. And, man, I don't know. Just... Just, like, when you have, like... When you have, like, stuff going on, you can just, like, get in a mood where you're just, like... You're just, like, swirling it. Like, you have, like, all day. I'm just, like, all day. And why are some of these enemies sparkling? I noticed there was a sparkling dude earlier but I thought that I thought that the sl that the metal slime riders just sparkle so what are the oh the sparkly ones mean you can ride them I think right because I could probably ride this thing I don't know if that's better than running but uh, like like today or whatever I was just like thinking about it and then like I have like all day because because of like my job or whatever it's just like repetitive and I have like all day to just like spend inside my head just like swirling everything around inside my brain just like just like getting myself like more like worked up about it and then plus one of the things that I don't know I guess I kind of changed my tune like a little bit but, like, basically, the job that I'm on now, I have to work. Like, I never run out of work to do. I always have... I always have... Like, I'm never out of work. Whereas, all the people around me, they finish their work, and then they get to sit down and scroll on their phone until I finish and then move the line. Because the entire line... Whenever you, whenever you work on an assembly line... The entire line bottlenecks at the slowest point on the line, which is me. I'm not the slowest, like, person. But there's just the most work on my station, so it just takes the longest. So I'm, like, sitting here working my fucking ass off like a goddamn fucking slave. While everyone else gets to do their little easy-ass job. And then, like, dick around, or go talk to the person next to him, or fucking go to the bathroom, or go to the vending machine, or do, like, do anything. Okay, so this just loops. I just looped back around to where I was before, or whatever. Alright. So basically, like... Like, it's, like, so unfair that, like, we, we all get paid the same, too. It's a union job, so we all get paid the same. But it's, like, totally unfair. Because I'm working, like... Like, way more than they are. Okay, so, like, this doesn't connect to that upper area. Do I actually have to go down this thing? I think you, I think you maybe do. Uh, because looking at the map... What is that white thing up and to the left of the campfire? What is that? I'm guessing that the little thing to the left of the campfire... Like, I, I'm guessing I can't go up there. I could probably only jump down. So I probably had to go this way. Uh, if I had to guess. But I guess, like, just to, like, to illustrate, for example. You know, this is, this is pretty close to actual numbers or whatever. But, um, or, th like, this is, like, accurate. Like, it's not, like, the numbers aren't accurate, but, like, the, the ratios... I would say are pretty accurate. Let's say it takes me six minutes to make my motor, to do my job or whatever. Oh, I have to use this guy to climb up. Okay, can he climb for some reason? He can, okay. I don't know why he can climb in that one space, but whatever. Because it's a video game. Shut up, Thomas. Just enjoy the game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, is there anything else on this, uh... I wonder if I could, like, kick a ladder down or something. Make, like, a little shorts cut for me. Oh, wait, maybe I can. I think I gotta get off this guy first. It is nice that he doesn't, like, run away like a chocobo. Can I, like, knock this down? 
Yeah, I can lower it. I can lower a vine. Okay, good enough. All right, shortcut unlocked. Woohoo! A treasure down here. Is that to get off the thing to open the chest. Electrifying equipment. Lightning staves, lightning lances. Okay. But just like, for example, let's say if it takes six minutes for me to make my motor, and it takes someone else four minutes to make their motor. So for every so for every motor, they get like a two-minute break. Which then you might be going, well, it's just two minutes. It's not a big deal. It's like, well, on an assembly line, two minutes is like a long freaking time. So if you figure if it takes me six minutes to do one motor, that means that in that means in one hour I could do ten motors. Because I worked for sixty minutes, six minutes per motor. Magic beast horn. Alright. So I can make I can make ten motor at a rate of six minutes per motor, I can make ten in one hour. That's sixty minutes. So if someone, if it takes someone else four minutes to make their motor, how many motors can they make in an hour? The answer is ten, because they can only make as many as I do. Because they can't, you have to, you can't, when it's an assembly line, you can't make more motors than the person ahead of you. Like everybody's like locked in. Like you're, you're sort of like at the mercy of like how fast the people ahead of you move or whatever. So someone else can only make 10 mo- so, uh, so like the person ahead of me can only make, uh, or can also make 10 motors in an hour, but if he's making his motors at 4 minutes apiece, then when he makes 10 motors, he only worked for 40 minutes during that hour, while I worked 60 minutes in that hour. So I- so every hour, I worked for 20 extra minutes during that hour, but we got paid the same. So. So I work so they so like for a third of the hour they were they got to not work but I still had to work but we all get paid the same. You see how it's like super not like not fair? So for every hour they're only working 40 minutes. I like am I, I feel like I'm not sure if I'm either explaining it properly or if I'm beating a dead horse. But in any given hour they're working for 40 minutes during that hour and I'm working for 60 minutes during that hour. So that 20 minutes is a third of an hour that they're getting paid the same as me, but they're not working. So why do we get paid the same? Because it's a fucking union. Everybody gets paid the same. And then plus, there's like there's like no incentive for like anybody to like do a good job because then if you if you're too good, you wind up like Thomas getting put on all the bitch jobs. So yeah, so I mean, for the longest time, I mean, I've even said it on camera where where it's like, oh, it doesn't bother, like, you get paid, the, like, the amount, like, the amount I get paid has nothing to do with how much work other people do. And I still do believe that. But there is a point, oh, you don't have to actually have to pick it up, or you don't have to get up, get off the dude to pick up the thing. Okay, so did I already... How far did I... Was I already here? I think I was. Alright, let's go back. You know, I would say something like... I don't exactly remember how I said it, but I was just like, how much work other people do has nothing to do with how much I make. It's like, it's true, but it's still, like, super not fair. And it's like, I'm also, like, also, I, like, I can't be, like, mad at them. They're just doing their job. Their job just happens to take less time. I'm not gonna be like, hey, they should have to, to, like, do more work to make it fair. It's like, no, they're just, they're doing the job that was assigned to them. I can't be mad at them for that, you know? So part of the frustration is be, is knowing that I can't get mad at them. They're not doing anything wrong. They're just doing the job that was, like, put before them. You know, they're just doing what was assigned to them. I can't be mad at them for that. But like I said, the fact that I can't be mad at them 
also like makes it frustrating too. Oh, is this the bird from the very beginning of the game, by the way? How oh, what are you doing here, humans? If you're thinking of feathering your nest with my treasure. Thinking of feathering your nest with my treasure? Oh, like using the treasure to build my nest with? I don't know, he's a bird, so he, he only thinks in like bird terms. Uh, Elysium bird. Oh yeah, why are we here, here again? Uh, I don't know. We just have regular uh, music, so this may be like a mini boss. Oh, I forgot to mention when I was grinding in the other episode. There, oh, I got boom off camera. I forget if I mentioned that I got it uh, with Veronica, but um, there seemed to be enemies that were like susceptible to boom. So like boom was doing like a lot of damage. So that was actually nice. Go ahead and take out these uh, Condor dudes. Not sure if Thomas's magic is strong enough to kill him. Yeah, also fire does not seem to be effective. Uh, Frizzwiz. Um, I don't know. Should I use it on the Elysium bird? I, mean, I don't know. It might be. It might do like a hundred damage. Oh, you son of a bitch. I gotta take him out. Oops. Uh, try a swoosh, I guess. But uh, yeah, I was just, yeah, I don't know. I was just, I was just like, like, I don't even know like what the word is. It's not pissed. But I was definitely in a state that is not healthy to be in long term, you know? <laughs> oh, this thing isn't a dragon, is it? Oh, but yeah, I don't know. You ever been in that? Oh. And then freaking... So I was like freaking pissed. And then I finally got off work. And see, it's a long story. Every, every, everything like had shit that like led up to it. Uh, let's try... What's the big one? Let's try this guy. So I went to the health food store. See, a while back, like, I've been trying to quit caffeine, and, uh, man, it's freaking hard, man. And, uh, sure. Hot stuff coming through. And I was gonna, like, make, a couple weeks ago, I was gonna, like, try to make this, like, this, like, I don't know what the phrase is, like, I was gonna make, like, an actual, like, good, hard effort. Like, a dedicated effort to, like, try to quit. And there were these like chocolates that like contained like a small amount of caffeine in it, in them. And I was gonna like, I was gonna try to like use that to like wean myself off. Cause it's easier to like measure out your caffeine to like wean off or whatever. If you know that there's like 50 milligrams in each one. So I had it planned out where I was gonna buy this, this, uh, this like package of, uh, of like caffeine chocolates or whatever that had, like the package has like six in it or whatever. So I had, I had planned it I had planned it out to where the caffeine in these chocolates was gonna be like my final caffeine like ever, you know that was gonna be where I was gonna like then quit at that from that point once those were gone or whatever. So I go in and they and like turns out they like don't have them, and it's like why would they not have it like I had it I had it like all planned out like I needed those to like not like. I don't know. Part of part of being like an addict is you spend a lot of mental energy like managing your doses, your planned doses. 
which is it's like it's frustrating because it, it's a very very stupid thing to like spend mental energy on is like you know figuring out is always like it's it's like it's like cigarette smokers like your next cigarette is always like on your mind you know like it's always you live your life from like your next cigarette to your next cigarette you know let's try uh let's try ice damn son actually did somebody learn multi-heal uh did not maybe serena has it I forget how much swoosh did. Here you are. Oh, so anyway, so it like ruined. So like the the plan that I had crafted in my head was like ruined because they they didn't have this stupid this stupid caffeine Victory. chocolate or whatever. So then I was all freaking at the time. This is like a week or two ago. So I was all like pissed about like my plan being ruined. Uh, new skill learned. Alright, nice. Learn to boom. Nice. And, um... So after... So I had this stuff going on today. So I was, like, in this, like, bad mood or whatever. And I go to the health food store. And then the person, like, as soon as they see me come in... Oomphful. Is that what they call the oomph that applies to everybody? I don't remember ever knowing of it being called that. <laughs> Maybe they call it something different. I don't know. So I go in and they're like, Thomas, we got something to show you. I'm just like, oh, geez. I, at the time, I had no idea what it was. And then they're like, oh, look, we, we got some of those chocolates in or whatever. Apparently, what they had done is like, it wasn't like, I guess like it didn't sell enough. So they stopped carrying it. So the lady that I had asked about it went to the person who places the orders and was like, hey, there's this customer that like asked about it. And he's like a regular so, like, you should order it for him. And they ordered it just for me. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to fucking quit, dude. Don't order the shit that I'm trying to quit, you fucking idiot. <sighs> anyway, yeah, can you tell, like... I don't know, I'm getting, like... <laughs> I'm starting to get, like, pissed just, like, like recalling being pissed previously. You ever do that? <laughs> but, so, I'm like... So, like, every time I try to quit something happens that like prevents me from quitting like something always comes up something always like foils whatever plan i had in mind like whatever like regimen i was gonna i was gonna like do to like wean off or like like it, like anytime i'm just like okay like like i need like quitting caffeine is like so hard that like you need like you need like some time like you need like some time to like detox or whatever to where you don't have to like go to work or like do anything that requires like strength you know so like like every freaking week something happens that like that like makes it like that like derails me. I get derailed like every fucking week, man. It's so annoying. And then this weekend is freaking Mother's Day. So I have to do like Mother's Day stuff. But uh, we are doing Mother's Day stuff on Saturday in the morning. It's like fine. Well, I'm, I'm trying to dismount. Oh, I'm pressing... What the hell's the B button on this controller? Oh, B is the bottom button on this controller. Okay, yeah, I forgot. So it's like, okay, well, I can do some caffeine in, like, on Saturday, and then hopefully get off the sauce on Sunday, I guess. What did I even get from here? Did I get the orb? Am I good to go back? Am I free to go, officer? Am I being detained? Am I free to go? Are we good to Audi out of this bitch? Uh, I think we're good to get out of here. All right, let's hit up the camp on the way out, and then we'll go back to. What am I? Wait, what? What am I even supposed to do? Okay, so there was. Was there an orb? I didn't even see what I got out of the chest. I'm assuming I got an orb, right? But I can't go this way without the stupid thing. I thought you used that for climbing. I thought I was going, like, downward. Oh, let's go down here. Dirt. 
Oh, so then, this, so they ordered the freaking, they ordered the freaking caffeine chocolates or whatever. So now it's like, well, they ordered it just for me, so it would be rude for me to like, to like not buy it, you know? So it's like, man, so it's like, what am I, so it's like, what the hell am I going to do? I guess I'll buy it, like, I'm just like, whatever. I'll just buy it and like give it away or something. I don't know. But I'm just like, why? Like, why would you do that? Oh, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, I can't be mad at them. They thought they were just, like, being nice to a customer. I'm, like, a loyal customer, so they thought that they'd do me a favor. So it's like, I can't be mad at them either. But yeah, that, that, that would, like, re like after... After already being pissed... And then to, like, to have that, like, happen also... I don't know. You ever have those moments where you're like you're in a state where you like you're you're so pissed, you're like so close to like flipping out. You're just like I can feel it. If one more thing happens, I'm gonna yeah, fucking flip out. Something. Like I was that I was like that. And then that thing happened that I just mentioned a minute ago. And then the thing with the chocolates happened. So I was like, come on, give me a fucking break, man. Oh, then I was driving to yoga. And it's, and it's like so frustrating. I can't, I can never get out the door on time. I'm always running out the door. I don't have enough time. This goes into like a whole other like bag of worms or what do you call it? Can of worms. I'm always in a hurry to do like everything. I'm always hurrying to get to work and I'm always hurrying to get to, get to yoga. And so like today, for example, I even started getting ready sooner than normal. And then, like, right as I was, like, walking out the door, I, I checked the time on my phone, and it's, like, 4.09. Which is, like, a couple minutes, like, later than I had intended to leave. So I was like, how the fuck is it? Yeah, so, like, I was, so, like, that, like, pissed me off, too. I'm just like, dude, I'm always, I don't know. You ever been, it's hard to explain, but, like, I'm always hurrying. And it's like, no matter what happens, I always... Something always happens that, like, puts me behind. Or, like, makes something... Like, something always takes longer than normal. Like, I don't know. I'm just, like, I'm always hurrying. And it's, like, so frustrating. And I was already, like, pissed from all the other shit. And so, I guess, like... It's one of those things where it's, like... If you don't have the problem... Then you don't really, like, understand when other people have the problem, you know? So like if you if you're always hurrying to get somewhere, you just be like, well, just just leave five minutes earlier, then you won't have to hurry to get there. You know, just just leave five minutes earlier. That's all you have to do. You know. It's like oh, if only that, it were that easy. That's why I think that it's like I, like I got some like deep seated. It's like some kind of like deeper issue, like something keeps happening. Like for example, even if I set my alarm five minutes earlier. Like, I'm still going to be rushing out the door at the exact same time. But, like, part of it is because I sort of, like, subconsciously, like, don't want to go to work. So I, like, subconsciously, like, put off going for, like, as long as I can. Oh, so, so I'm, like, rushing out the door to get to yoga. And then, of course, I get stuck behind a fucking school bus. And then there's like, and then for some reason, I don't know like what the hell happened. Like did one bus, what probably happened is that one school bus got hit by a train. So now every single goddamn school bus has to stop at every single goddamn railroad track. So the stupid school bus stops. I'm like, I'm in a hurry. I'm like hurrying to get to yoga. Just happened to get stuck behind a school bus. But it just happens to be on like on a road that I know it's gonna have to stop at a railroad tracks. So I'm like, come on, man, give me a goddamn break, man. And you know I have a dark sense of humor, so I'm sitting here going like, like normally I go on this road like every day. So every day it doesn't have one of those like gates that go down. It just has the, uh, like the what do you call it, the lights or whatever. But then you should still check in case the lights aren't working. But uh, it, like those, it doesn't have the gate that like comes down and like blocks you or whatever. So like the bus stopped, it went through, 
And normally I look through, but today I did not look through. I was like, you don't understand, man. I was so fucking... I don't know, man. I think it's like a big deal because I'm not normally pissed. I don't get like pissed like very often. Like pissed to where it's like I'm pissed for like multiple hours. Where like I'm pissed for like the whole day, you know? But at this, at this point, I had been so pissed for so long that I purposefully did not look both ways before I went through the train. Uh, before I went across the train tracks. And I was like, you know what? If a train just fucking takes me out, I don't even give a fuck. You know? That's kind of where I was at. And it's like... So I purposely, like, didn't even look. But obviously there was not a train. I was, I was assuming that there wouldn't be a train. Otherwise, the bus would have stopped <laughs> and waited for it. And I'm assuming that the lights would have come on. But I'm just saying, I was in that headspace. I was like, I'm just not even going to look. And if, if a train takes me out, whatever. I don't even give a shit. You ever been so mad that you just, like, don't care if you die? Yeah, that's... that. It's, it was pretty... I was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, do, okay, do I need to go back? Is it going to tell me where to go? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, like, I don't know. I Like, I'm fine now. I'm still, like, like, I'm, there's still, like, twinges of, like, saltiness. Like, I'm still, like, I'm still, like, kind of salty. But it's, like, what would I, like, what would happen in this game that would legitimately, like, piss me off? Like, I'm not... Even if something pisses me off in the game, like, I'm not mad at the game. So I guess I can compartmentalize pretty well. Where it's like, some people get mad and then they're just, like, mad in general. It's like, for the most part, it's like, I'm just... Well, I was mad at specific things, and then I was sort of mad in general, but then, like... I wasn't mad at, like... Like, I was... I don't know, I was... I was like salty in general, but then when things kept pissing me off over and over again. Um, need six orbs. Okay. Um, is there an orb here? So yeah, I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't get like mad very often, so I don't have a lot of experience, like handling being mad. There has got to be a way to get over there. They would not put a treasure chest there. Oh, there's two treasure chests. They would not put treasures over there if there was no way to get there. Was there nothing on this island? Pretty sure there's nothing on this island. Oh, so yeah, that's how my day went. Good golly. So then I'm always, I keep moving the goalpost of like when I'm going to like plan to like quit the caffeine or whatever. And then there's, there's times where I'm just like, just a couple days ago, I was just like, I was just like, why am I so like scared of like being tired? You know, like if I don't take the caffeine before work, I'm just gonna be tired at work. It's like, well, like I'm going to be tired either way. It's like, what freaking difference does it make? Let's go. But that's the that's the problem is that like when you're when you're addicted you don't take caffeine for extra energy you take caffeine to feel the amount of energy that a non-caffeine user feels like all the time you know it's like smoking you know people that smoke they smoke cigarettes to temporarily feel like a non-smoker so i'm sitting here going like well i'm gonna be tired like i'm tired with the caffeine so I might as well just quit, but then it's like, well, if I'm this tired with it, like, just imagine how tired I would be without it. So then, like, like today's Wednesday night, for example. So then, what's gonna happen is I could be like, oh, I should've used magic with her. Why didn't I use magic with her? So then, uh, so then, like for like for example, so I'd be like, well, like if I just take the hit, I should just like take the hit and just suck it up and just be tired at work tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, so I only have to be tired for two days. 
and then I'll be able to re like, and then I'll be like, I'll start recovering by the time the weekend comes around. I'll start getting my energy back for the weekend instead of spending the weekend being tired from withdrawing or whatever. Ooh, a seed of deafness. Nice. Uh, well, now that I can use these things. Did I use this one? I don't think I used this one. Let's see where this goes. But then it's easy to rationalize. And be like, well, it's just two more days. Like, why should I... Why should I be tired for two days where I don't have to be? I can just put it off for two more days. And then be able to withdraw at home instead of doing it at work while having to work my ass off, you know? What, uh... Sniff Sniffleheim? I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go, but let's go inside, I guess. Oh man, straight up Skyrim. Oh, huh, did I just get lucky and go to like the right places like right away? Because we already have four orbs, I think, right? You know, I gotta say, it actually is kind of cool that, um, usually when they give you these, like, quests to get, like, oh, god damn it, they're all, like, separate. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I have four. Okay, so we gotta get the one that's around here, and then one mo. Uh, usually when they do these, um, collect six or eight thingies or whatever. Here we are. The Crystal Kingdom of Sniffleheim. Home to the famous Blue Orb. Uh, it's a fair wee while since I've visited, but it warms my heart to be back. Well, if you knew that the orb is here, why didn't you fucking tell me, dude? <laughs> that must be about the only thing that is warm around here. Let's hurry up and get inside before we all freeze to death. <laughs> huh? What's this? What the? The gates are covered in ice. Look, they're frozen shut. Oh, it's like the Goron village in Majora's Mask. Like, it's a cold area, but it's too icy. How strange. Still, I suppose it's only natural they'd ice up in a climate as cold as this. Natural, my foot. What about all the people inside? How are they supposed to live if they can't get in or out of the city? Hmm. Ah, you have a point there, lassie. They've always made sure to keep the main gate free of frost, even in the dead of winter. So, what are we supposed to do? There's an orb in there we need to get to. Well, if we can't go in through the front door, we'll just have to head round the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So nobody in the party was smart enough to figure out that we could just melt the ice with fire? We have fire magic. But they're like, nah, that makes too much sense. And this is like a video game, so we can't just do the easy, logical thing. We gotta, like, make a whole, whole big old thing about it, right? Okay, well, let's save and then let's call it. Oh, there was one more thing I was going to say. I forgot what it was, though. Oh, I didn't want to talk over the cutscene. I've been talking over a lot of the cutscenes. Like, probably shouldn't talk over every single one of them, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, anyone that's, that's like, known me for a while, part of the reason I've been, like, struggle busting so hard to get these episodes up is because, like, after work... I'm, like, so tired, and then I go to yoga, and then I'm, like, more tired. And then by the time I get home from that, I'm, like, super mega, like, ultra, like, ridiculous tired, you know? Um, that wasn't the thing I was going to say, though. What was the thing I was going to say, though? Oh, check it out. She's got a little emblem on her. I don't know why it's right there. Kind of weird, but... Uh, what was I going to say? You know what? I'm just going to stand here. Until I remember what it was. And then I'll just cut out the big giant gap.
Uh, check it out. When I'm in this screen, he like looks down there. But when I go to the menu, he like turns his head. Huh, that is so weird. Why does he do that? That's so silly. Huh. All right, well, back to thinking about what I was going to say. God, that stupid cutscene interrupted me, man. And now I can't get it back. Okay, I don't I don't remember what I was going to say. Like, I got to two minutes on my timer, and I was like, if it gets to three minutes, then I'll just say screw it. Oh, but one other thing I was going to say. Maybe this is what I was going to say. I don't, actually don't remember. But uh, one other thing that I could say is... Um, so after everything that... It, that I went through today after being like so pissed all day. I go to fire up OBS. Guess what? I want to update OBS. want to update OBS. <laughs> I was like, no, fuck you. I'm not updating OBS. Because that's when, when you update OBS, things go wrong with the recording. Like, hell no, dude. I'm not updating OBS right now. Like, come on. I'm not in the goddamn mood. And then I turn on my Switch. And I go to load up the game. And it's like, system update is now available. Or whatever and it, it has to close out the software to update the system and I did the thing where I did the thing where I did this or whatever and then so it would have closed it and then oops god damn it see it puts it at update as the default I have to go to start software to come back to here and I was pretty sure that I uh was that a camp thing last time but I was like no I sat down to record like, I don't know how long, like, I don't know how long the update's gonna be, but it's like, no, I sat down to record. Like, I summoned the strength to record. So I don't want to dick around with fucking updates. I want to sit down, like, fire the shit up and record. Like, why is that so... Ugh, like, why can't I just record without it being like, Wanna update? Wanna update? Was system updates available? Oh, yeah, so I'm just like, dude, why? Why did both things want to update after all the other shit I went... So I'm sitting here going, like, after everything else that happened... Just like one thing after another, pissing me off all freaking day. And then OBS wants to update. And then the Switch wants to update. Like on the same on the same day. Which granted, I don't record every day or whatever. So they probably the update was probably available on different days. And this is just the first time I fired both of them up at the same time or whatever. But I'm just like, dude, come on. But um yeah, I don't remember if that was what I was gonna say, but that was like one final thing that like pissed me off. Um, but, uh, I mean, I'm, but I mean, over, like, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm fine. I'll be fine tomorrow. Well, one thing I noticed is that whenever I'm in, like, a salty mood at work or whatever, I don't know, sometimes you just are, like, in salty moods where you just, like, you're just, like, extra bothered by the fact that everybody else has it so much easier than you and you get paid the same. Just, it just rubs you the wrong way on certain days, you know? Um, just, like, I noticed that just, like, being pissed off about it. And then, like, later, you, like, feel better. So I guess, like, actually, like, working it out, like, actually feeling those, like, feelings. I know it sounds sounds gay or whatever. But, like, actually, like, experiencing those feelings. Like, you sort of, like, work through them to where you, like, you, like, process them. And then it, like, works its way out of your system. And then you feel, like, better or whatever. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm not real. I'm not a big, like, feeling like, pusher-downer kind of guy. Like, if I'm feeling it, like, it's coming up. Like, I'm not gonna... Like, I'm not one to... to just, like, bottle shit in and just push it down, you know? It's not... One, it's not healthy, and then two, you just bought... Like, the more you bottle it down and push it down, that just make, means it's gonna explode out, hard, like, harder at some point in the future, or it's just gonna leak. It's, like, you're gonna get, like, leakage. And, uh, and not the good kind. Um, but anyway... Oh, man, but anyway, uh, that is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, please hit the like button because I would super appreciate it. And I will see you folks in the next video. Have yourselves a great day. Bye.